Welcome to dungeon number five, the lizard. It's kind of green, here we go. Enter this room and you'll see some new enemies, the Pole's voice. One hit with the arrow will knock them out. Arrows cost rupees to use, however, most Pole's voice drop rupees when you hit them. So a lot of times you leave the room with more rupees than you had. Anyway, grab the key and come back to the central room and then head north. In this dungeon, we're going to find the first bomb upgrade of the game. So if you don't have 100 rupees at this point, you probably want to go outside of the dungeon and get those. Make sure that you have it because it's a pain to come back after the fact. Once you beat the dungeon, you want to be done with it. Grab the key from these new enemies called the Gibdos. They are mummies. Here we have a man. Dig Dogger hates certain kinds of sound. Thank you. Perhaps we're going to get an item that creates sound in which Dig Dogger, the dungeon's boss, will hate. In this room we have three Dodongos. Each Dodongo takes two bombs. And if you drop a bomb immediately, you'll eat both of them at once, so they shouldn't be too big of a problem, however... You only have limited bombs at this point, so you want to be careful. And they drop bombs, so good deal. Head on up in this room, you grab the map, and you'll see that it kind of looks like a lizard. Come into this room with the Zol, a couple of fairies, nice. Grab a key, go down. Here we have Gibdos, and you can clearly see that one of the Gibdos is holding some bombs. So we're going to drop a bomb before we collect the bombs. And we get another bomb drop. Very nice. So both those walls can go, but this is a secret area. Here we have the blue variation of the Dark Nut, which take more hits to kill. Buy more hits with the magical sword, it's just two hits. Nothing too crazy, but when there's a lot in the same room, it gets a little hectic, and you can lose some health quite quickly with them. I find it easier to anticipate where they're going to be, stand there, and then strike them the second they come into focus. Alright, once you kill them all, you can move this block. Go down the stairs, and warp our way to the top of the lizard. Two locked doors, if you've been collecting all the keys thus far, you pretty much don't have to worry about locked doors in this entire game, because the dungeons offer more keys than there are doors. You have obviously another room full of blue dark nuts, I'm not doing as good in this room. You just want to anticipate where they're going to be. You can't hit them from the front. And once they're gone, you can move this block to reveal another secret passage in which we will obtain the recorder. This will provide the sound that Dig Dogger hates. Apparently, we're just so bad at the recorder. We can go down this locked door now. Watch out for the keys and grab the key. bombable spot over here, go through and you'll find the first bomb upgrade. Costs 100 rupees, it will allow us to grab 12. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. You bet I would. We now have 12. Very nice. Once we're done with that part of the dungeon, we can actually go back to close to the beginning where we were. 
So basically, we came to this side to grab the recorder and the bomb upgrade. You will not find the dungeon boss over there. So that top door cannot be opened anymore. The only way to get back through is by bombing the wall. So uh, we already did that, so we're going to go through. Nice bomb drop. We're already full. Uh, go up the top after you kill those Gibdos. Here's the room where we were at with the three Dodongos. Now we want to go right. We got a pretty easy room with some Zol. See if you are close to 100 rupees when you first enter the dungeon. It might be worth killing some of the enemies in this area. Uh, instead of going outside of the dungeon, because a lot of these enemies, Paul's Voice and Zol, and a couple of the rooms just drop rupees anyway. So if you're close enough to 100, it's worth staying in the dungeon. Bunch of bomb drops now that we're all maxed out. Head north, we have a pretty easy room with these dark nuts. The thing is, you can hide where the dark nut can't even hit you and just hit them. Here, you'll get the compass. Here we got some Gibdos, some Keese, and a couple of Paul's voice. Again, you can hide in this area. Or get hit like I did. But we got the clock, so that froze the enemies. Good deal. Two clocks. So we're already nearing the end of this dungeon. We just got a room full of Gibdos. This dungeon isn't too bad. This is a pretty easy dungeon in my opinion. Grab a key. Enter through. We got seven keys now. Here's a room just full of Paul's voice. If you didn't know that Arrows got these guys in one shot, these would be pretty difficult enemies to deal with. They have sporadic moving, so you can't really tell where they're going, so if you're just using your sword, you can get hurt a bunch. We got bomb air a bombable area right here. Which brings us into the Eye of the Lizard. A secret power is said to be in the Arrow. I don't know if that's referring to, referring to Goma or if it's referring to the Pole's voice. You play the recorder for Dig Dogger here and he'll become a mini Dig Dogger in a couple of hits and he's gone. So you grab the heart piece. There is an extra room down here. We'll check it out. Gibdos. Since we're hitting all the dungeon rooms, there's no real reason to come here, but that's the room if you want some extra rupees. Head on up and grab that fifth piece of Triforce. Congratulations. Now that we're out of the dungeon, we're going to go directly to the 6th dungeon. Now we have Dungeon 9, which in my opinion is the hardest dungeon in the game. I'm probably in a lot of people's opinions. However, the second hardest dungeon in the game, I believe to be number 6, which is where we're going right now. It's just that we get the new enemy called the Wizrobe, which I think is the hardest enemy inside the dungeon. So as you could see a few screens back, we were able to use the step ladder to go over the river so we no longer have to use the Lost Woods to get to this West Hyrule area. We go down the ladder and here we are, just one screen right to where the ladder is to Dungeon 6.
Go on up and enter Dungeon 6.